Hi guys, it's Delicious Delights here back with another video. Today I have a review or kind of like a mini review on a fragrance that was really really interesting. It comes from a house that is not my favorite and if you've been watching me for a while you probably already know that my least favorite house is Gourlan. However, <laughs> the notes in this fragrance, the gimmicky thing about this fragrance, really 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 intrigued me and what intrigued me the most is that they dared to take lavender which is typically a note used in male fragrances and they twisted it and blended it and tweaked it and made it into a feminine fragrance and they dared to do that and I really admire that to be honest <laughs> so I had to check this out the fragrance is called Mont Exclusive uh, the house is Guerlain, of course, and Mont Exclusive is the only fragrance in the world that does not officially have a name. So that's kind of, take it how you like it. I mean, to me, it's kind of a gimmick. Um, basically, you just name it yourself. It doesn't have a name, so you can call it anything you want. You can call it Hank or like... I don't know any name you want <laughs> and I think you can get it engraved as well so there's the thing that got my attention I'm like really it doesn't have a name what are we supposed to call it uh, so yeah that intrigued me I already said and of course they they dared to use lavender in the feminine fragrance so I had to had to had to check this out also another thing that intrigued me that I forgot to mention is, is that this fragrance has butter in it and butter is a very it's a note that's not used that much in fragrance. I think I think that it's kind of daring to use that. And butter is also a, a main note in my favorite gourmand. So I kind of wanted to see what this fragrance was all about. See how they use butter, see how they use the lavender. So look, let me just shut up and get into it. Into the notes, I, I usually don't mention the notes, but I think that these, these notes are worth mentioning because they're really interesting. Um, they're just an interesting combination. You never think to put them together, but okay. So in the top, we have mandarin orange, candied almond, and bergamot. In the middle, we have florals. Nothing specific. Solar notes, whatever that is. And lavender, it's the one that I was most excited, excited about. And in the dry down, we have a lot. In the heart, sorry. <laughs> Iris, musk, sandalwood, toffee, vanilla, coumarin, butter fern, and salt. So yeah, that's really interesting. So I want to talk about it. <laughs> in the opening, the very first thing I noticed is that it's sweet. There wasn't any specific notes that were trying to vie for my attention. It was You just notice that it's sweet, it's powdery, it kind of smells almondy. That's all I get from the beginning. And right away you get, get this feeling of this fragrance being mature and um yeah i guess you can pick out the the sweetness from because there's vanilla in it but this vanilla is very subdued it's kind of like not like your typical vanilla that you would find in like celebrity fragrances for example where they're just so prominent they are a very subdued vanilla sweetness in the beginning in the beginning just literally I'm going to try to simplify this, even though this is a very complex uh, fragrance. You do get a sweetness, a mature sweetness, powderiness, and a nice almond kind of smell. So that's the beginning. Okay, it intrigued me because I do like fragrance uh, that are sweet. However, the real, my favorite part of this fragrance, the real shebang for me in this fragrance was in the mid, and that's where the lavender really shined lavender <laughs> in a woman's fragrance it's like never happens almost never i'm not really sure if it even has before but what this lavender does literally guys the lavender coats all of those sweet notes in the beginning it coats it into like a perfect little bubble that's how i feel it's like a purple bubble kind of just floating around and inside that bu bubble is kind of like exactly what the opening smells like uh, the, the nice vanilla blend with powderiness of some sort, almondiness of some sort. 
I don't get the citrus that, that's in the beginning. No, not at all. I also don't get the florals in the mid. Solar notes, I really don't know what is, what that is. But lavender, lavender really shines in the mid in a very feminine way, not a masculine way at all. That's, that's what's so interesting about this fragrance. Lavender, lavender, powdery lavender. That's, uh, let's just leave it at that for the mid. So this bubble is floating around and it's really interesting. I keep on saying that because my words really suck at describing <laughs> how complex this fragrance is. Um, let's just go on to the dry down and the dry down is a whole bunch of stuff. Iris, I don't get. Muskiness, not really. Sandalwood, no. Um, toffee, no. Vanilla, yes, I do get. Coumarin, yes, I do get. And coumarin, as I mentioned before, kind of smells like a powdery vanilla, a different kind of vanilla. Fern, no, I don't get that. I don't get that uh, fern kind of herbally smell, no. But what I do get is a lot of florals. Oh, and there's one more salt I don't get either. But in the dry down, I do get the florals. The florals kind of blossom and there are white florals. I'm not sure what kind, but the one thing that is very prominent in the dry down is the butter, the butter and the florals. And what the butter does is kind of just stabilizes everything. You know how the texture of butter after you melt it kind of solidifies, but it's still kind of creamy to the touch if you were to like stick your finger in it and mix it around you can like agitate it a little bit but what it does on its own is kind of stabilize those florals it stabilizes the vanilla and the lavender and it kind of just makes everyone happy on the same wavelength <laughs> that's kind of a weird analogy but i'm feeling that that real butter it doesn't taste like butter it does not smell like butter but it feels like butter. You can actually feel it. Well, I can. <laughs> you feel the butter. And that butter is stabilizing all of those interesting notes that I just mentioned. Of course, all of those other notes are in there. But I'm just telling you what that what I got right away in, in the dry down. The butter, the florals, and of course the vanilla. I wish I got more toffee in this. But... I'm very happy with what I already got. <laughs> the butteriness. The butteriness is what makes this special. The lavender makes it even more special. And that's uh, really, it's ju just definitely a fragrance you need to try. I think it's extremely feminine uh, for occasions where like going on a first date or something or going out. It's just very soft and feminine and girly and uh, I'm not really sure it would fit my lifestyle because I'm not that kind of person most of the time. However, I could see a woman using it, um, you know, just for special occasions. So um, yeah, let's see. What more can I say? This fragrance comes in one size, 50 mils. It costs 130 euros. So it is kind of pricey. However, if you're looking for that really uh, if you're looking for like a special event kind of fragrance, and you kind of want to smell very feminine yet different, I think this would be a good choice. <laughs> I've said many times I don't like the House of Guerlain, but this fragrance I think can easily be part of the any of their exclusive lines, the L'Arte Matier and the Elixir Charnel. Uh, I also want to say that this fragrance does remind me a lot of Tonka Imperial, of which I'm also a fan of. The only other fragrance in this house that I actually really like, Tonka Imperial. But I would say if you would take a little bit of that tobacco out and substitute it with lavender, um, then you could kind of get a little bit more of a feeling of what this fragrance smells like. So yeah, uh, if you tried it, let me know if you guys liked it. I, 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 oh, I can't even talk. I honestly think it was so interesting to try this out. Um, not fully full bottle worthy for me, I think. No, I don't think so. I actually, yeah, you know my stance on it. But I think it was really interesting to try. So I'm really curious what you guys think about this fragrance if you've tried it. And um, thanks for tuning in. Subscribe if you enjoy my videos. Or give me a thumbs up. I don't know. I just like, I just want to know if you guys like this stuff or not. 
And if you don't, you can give me a thumb down, thumbs down. That's fine too. <laughs> um, that's all. That's all for today. So it was nice seeing you guys again. Stay tuned for more videos and I will keep in touch. See you later. Bye.